Good morning and welcome to Love Every Moment, coming to you today from 1880 down in South Dakota. Today's verse is 1 John 5.15. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests which we have asked from him. Well, of course, this comes off of last week's verse, and I have the link up here. If you haven't seen that, it's really important that you do, as I covered in detail what it really means about asking according to his will. And this week, I'm going to add to that by making this statement that we have to have a proper relationship with him to be able to ask something according to his will. If we have no relationship with him, we won't know what his will is. So yes, we have to have that loving father-son relationship with him. Then we get to know his will and can ask things that are according to his will. As a sample, let's say I'm a little child and I have a loving relationship with my father. Well, I'm most likely going to ask things that I know my father would say yes to. I wouldn't ask him for a million dollars because I know he would say no to that. I have that relationship and I know how he thinks. And as I grow in my love relationship with my father, I might ask for something that's just a little beyond his will. I might say, Daddy, can I go play in the middle of the busy street? And he might say with a wink, uh, I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. And that's his loving way of suggesting that's not really according to his will. And then I get that and file it in my head and say, oh, okay, I went one beyond and that's not according to his will. And I get to know his will a lot better that way. With that in mind, the Bible also has some suggestions of things that are within his will. And let's take a look at a glorious chapter. Uh, this is in Philippians 4, starting in verse 6 and going through verse 8. It says in verse 6, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So we have prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, a great basis to start our requests from God. All right. Then verse 7 says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We will know that we have these requests because, again, his peace will wash over us and we'll know, oh yes, I'm definitely asking for something that's well within his will. And just in case we're not sure, uh, <clears throat> Paul lists eight things in the next verse that are well within his will. So let's look at verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellence and if anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. And of course, think about that. If we're praying and requesting things that are true and honorable and right, well, there's a very high likelihood that God will say yes to that because it's within his will. Did you notice in that list anything about health and wealth and wine and women and song and such like that? Things to satisfy our flesh? No. It's things that will bring glory and honor to him. With that in mind, I've been praying recently, God command me to love someone today. That's been a life-changing prayer. And God, of course, is going to answer a prayer like that. Now, let's get back to our main verse. Oh, let's see. Here it is. It says, if we know that he hears us and whatever we ask, we know that we have these requests. Now, looking ahead to next week's verse, a little sneak peek, it says, if anyone sees his brother committing a sin not leading to death, he shall ask and God will for him give life to those who commit sin not leading to death. In other words, we are praying for God or for our brother to have a right relationship with God and to get his relationship back in tune with God. Well, there's a prayer that God will certainly answer. And so we can request on others' behalf too. So in that mode, let's love every moment because then we're going to love every moment. I'm your average wretch and I hope you have a great week.